right, so I was born on the west side of Chicago at St. Presbyterian St. Luke Hospital, which is on the west side, uh, which my mom told me is near downtown Chicago, so it's actually considered the west side, but it is that like close to downtown. Um, at an early age, like from maybe zero to about five, six, I don't really remember much. So like spurts here and there, I remember little things like playing a keyboard uh, because my dad was a gospel singer and my granddad was also a gospel singer. And so they both played instruments. They were both, um, you know, singers and things like that in the gospel group. So I remember, you know, a little bit from that time frame, but the parts that I do remember, um, like I remember dinner. I don't, I don't know why I remember dinner, but we used to sit at the dinner table a lot when I was young. So I remember never being able to drink the Kool-Aid before I can eat. So <laughs> it would always be in arm's reach. Like I could see the Kool-Aid, but I could never actually get the Kool-Aid. So, you know, the plate would be here full of stuff that I don't want to eat. And it'd be like, man, if I could just eat some of this food so I could drink my Kool-Aid. So if I eat, you know, a certain amount of food, it'd be like, you can drink some. And so that was something that I remember. I know that's probably crazy, but I remember that. Um, growing up in Chicago, it was rough. I remember, you know, having rats running in and out the house and they used to chew through the bottom of the garbage can. So, you know, as, as a kid, like, I didn't like rats. So I used to hate taking out the trash because that was my job. So I used to have to take the trash out. And when you walk to the alley, you know, if you open a trash can, rats might jump out the trash can or even run from behind the trash can. So I would run outside and I would just toss the bag. Like, when I got close enough, I <laughs> run. So, yeah, that was that was something I remember um, as a kid, probably, you know, around the five, like the five, six range when I started remembering, you know, stuff, but that was around that time frame, and that was my job. Um, I remember walking to preschool a couple times, because I went to a preschool called Terrytown, which is also on the west side of Chicago, and, um, you know, my older brothers and sisters was really like, taking care of us when we were younger. My oldest sister, whose name is DeAndre, we call her D. She used to walk me to um, preschool and my, my other sister used to walk me to preschool and I used to kind of like alternate with walk me to preschool. So I remember that and that was kind of cool. And uh, I remember one time I was in preschool, I peed in the bed, so that was pretty cool, that was funny. I got to go home because I didn't have any extra clothes, so that was cool. And uh, yeah, as far as like a, a young age, that's that's the gist of what I remember from like a young age. Other than that, everything is like when I started playing football, because that was like the gist of my life, so playing football. But other than that, from my childhood, it being a home standpoint, that's the gist of what I remember. When did you start playing football? I started playing football when I was eight. Um, organized football on a team when I was nine. Oh. So, um, I used to always play, so I went to a school called Jensen Scholastic Academy. And I went there from the time I remember from like kindergarten to I want to say fourth grade. I went to that school and every morning we used to have to go up early. It was crazy because we stayed in the city. But then eventually we moved to the suburbs where we tried. We moved to the suburbs though and we used to have to catch two buses and a train to get to school. So we would get in the car with my mom drive downtown. When we get downtown to her job, me and my older brother, we would get on a bus, a train, then another bus to get to school. And then we had to take that same bus, train, bus to get back to my mom for us to drive back home. And that was our routine every day for like, I want to say three, four years. And these are city transportation? Yeah. So you were seeing like all kinds of stuff? Everything. You seen everything from condoms on the ground, needles on the ground, people getting shot, people getting stabbed, people getting robbed, car accidents, uh, shootouts, like just all kind of stuff in the midst of being in Chicago at that age. So yeah, that was definitely different. That was probably like, some of the craziest stuff you see is on like public transportation. You see people like taking a shit on the bus, like really like sitting there taking shit. People, you know, on drugs and stuff like that, of course, but they be on the bus just like taking shits or pissing. Like I seen somebody on the bus having sex. Like they did. So it was crazy. What kind of student were you? <laughs> like elementary, middle school? Like what? What would your teacher say about you? Um, every single report card, my mom could attest to this. It was a great student talks too much. <laughs> every report card, like every single one. 
I used to, uh, growing up, I was the youngest of four that was in my household. My mom only had four kids. So I was the youngest of four. So my oldest sister is 12 years older than me. The next oldest is nine years older than me. My brother's five years older than me. So like they were a lot closer in age than I was. So I felt like I grew up down there like an only child. Because nobody wanted to play with toys with me or play video games with me when I was young. So by the time I got like teenager, everybody was out the house. So it really felt like I was the only child. So when I would go to school, those were my friends, you know, the people that I hung out with a lot. So I would go to school and before we start class, because we would always get there early because of the bus ride and the train ride when we got there, everybody would be outside in the parking lot. And so we'd play like what we call dead man pickup. we throw the ball up, you know, whoever pick up the ball, you gotta run and get to the end zone. And then you keep going back until you get tackled. You get tackled, you throw it up, somebody get the ball, you do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we would do that on concrete before school. And uh, we would get there, we'd play football every day, literally every day, faithfully, before school. And then we'd go on school, we'd be sweaty, shirts be ripped, shoes be dirty. And then I would go on school and hang out with my friends in school. I'd do my work, you know, if I, if I needed to. If it was like, you gotta take a test or something, but I'm talking. I mean, I'm in class talking, so that's what, interesting. What was your uh, favorite subject? If you had to choose a favorite subject and a least favorite subject, what were they and why? I think my most liked subject would have to have been in elementary spelling because we had like, you know, spelling bees and all that type of stuff. I'm a real like grammatical type of person, so I'm real, like for what I text you, I text whole words, I text, I really ever like abbreviate stuff or like use slang or something like that. I like to text whole words because I used to always win the spelling bees. So that was my thing. My least favorite would have to have been um, oh yeah, in gym class. Like gym was, that was my shit. I used to kick ball, I was a kickball king in gym class, I really was. You know, the ball was kind of mushy. So, you know, most of the time you can't get a kick on where it's gonna go too far, but I used to always find a way to get underneath it and get a nice little distance on it. Cause you can't pop it up too high cause it's easy to catch, but you gotta get some distance on it, get some height, but it's a skill to that, but I'm, I'll teach y'all about that later. That's a good skill to that. But, uh, gym class to spelling, but then math and history. History, I would go to sleep, and math, I could never understand how letters and numbers went together. So, still to this day, I don't like math unless it deals with money and history because it's too boring. I understand we wouldn't be here, we need to know our history in order for us to move forward, but most of the stuff that they was teaching us, we didn't need it. Well, at least I, I thought we didn't need it. I, I feel like I don't need to know about um, the the war in in Nova Scotia. Like I don't, I could care less about that. Like don't teach me about that. George Washington, he did his thing. Like first president, cool. Teach me about him, what he did. Let's move on. The all of that extra stuff. When we start to watch them videos, you know, when they have nothing to teach you when you go in class. So they be watching the video. They put a video that had nothing to do with life, the class. You're not gonna have a test on it. They just want you to watch the video. Of course, I'm in there talking. I'm always getting sent to the hall or to the principal's office. Even in the hall, stay up on the principal's office, and yeah, you, know, you never want your mom to get caught. <laughs> so they used to always call my mom, and she'd be like, you know, when you get home, I'm taking no video games, no TV, you ain't getting no new shoes. And I'm like, man, man, what was life without new shoes? So yeah, that was my least favorite subject for those reasons. Cool. We good on that one. Mm -hmm.